Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video with scrap fabric. So I have three cat toys in mind that I want to make and I'm only going to be using small fabric scraps that I have left over from other projects. I don't know if you're like me, but I always end up with a ton of scraps and I have drawers filled with scraps. And this is a really great way to use some of that fabric without having to just throw it away. So I'll go ahead and show you the fabric pieces that I pulled out of my bin. I have one small scrap piece of minky fabric and two pieces of cotton. I'm starting off with the minky fabric. On the wrong side, I drew a circle and cut it out. With a needle and thread, I used a gathering stitch all the way along the outside of the circle. When I pulled the thread tight, it gathered the fabric into a small little ball. I stuffed it with polyfill and then tied a few knots in the thread to finish closing it up. If you want, before you close it up, you can also add some catnip to the inside. For my next project, I'm going to be making a catnip pillow. I folded the fabric right sides together and cut out a rectangular shape. As you can see, we have two of the same pieces, and with them facing right sides together, I'm going to sew them on my machine just like this. Here we have it all stitched up. I cut away some of the extra fabric from the edges and trimmed the corners. Then I turned it right side out. I'm going to be stuffing this with both catnip and polyfill because it wouldn't be a catnip pillow without some catnip. When I add the catnip, I always like to rub it into the fabric. I don't know if this really makes a difference, but <laughs> that's what I like to do. So I add a little bit of catnip and then I go back and forth between adding the polyfill and then a little bit more catnip and then back to polyfill again until the pillow is completely full. I hand stitched the opening closed with a ladder stitch. And here is a close up of what that stitch looks like. And here we have our final product. I've tested this one out with my cats before and I know that they are crazy about it. For my third project, I had another long piece of cotton. With this, I'm going to be creating a replacement piece for a feather wand that my cats destroyed. For this one, I cut the fabric into long strips, stopping about halfway through. I turned it around and followed the same steps on the other side. Just remember to not cut all the way through the middle of the fabric because we want this to stay all as one piece. Here is the featherless wand that I have. I knew that I could make something for it, so I didn't want to just throw it away. I took two of the strips on opposite sides and tied it to the wand. This project is super simple and doesn't require any sewing. And I'm not really concerned about the raw edges because my cats are just going to tear it up anyways. When this one gets worn out, I can just cut it off and replace it with a new piece of fabric. The only thing left to do is to see if my cats actually like them. So how did I do? watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you try some of these projects out for yourself. I think they're really fun and easy to do and they're with scrap pieces of fabric so you don't have to worry too much about messing them up. If you want to see more videos from me in the future you can subscribe. I make sewing videos, DIYs, and tutorials and I hope to see you for the next one. Bye!